What is up guys, it's Razor, and welcome to Empty Bottle and Default Armor run of Radiata Stories. So, this run, I'm only going to be using Jack's Default Armor, and I'm going to be using a weapon called the Empty Bottle. It's a one-handed sword, it only has one strength, and you get it fairly early on in the game. You don't start with it though, so I have to actually get it. And as soon as I get it, the challenge will start. I've already done a 100% walkthrough of this game in the past. I'm looking forward to playing it again because Roddy Out of Stories is actually my favorite game. I enjoy this game a lot. So I'm looking forward to playing it again. And this challenge should make it a little more interesting. I didn't want to just play the game again. I wanted to actually do a challenge of the game because it's not really the hardest game. Like there's tons of harder games. This game's actually fairly easy. So I think adding the challenge to it, it should be pretty difficult with the challenge that I set up. With having the default armor, I'll be taking a lot of damage throughout this run, and only having a weapon of one strength is going to make the enemies quite difficult. It's going to take a long time to kill the bosses. Especially some of the late game bosses are going to be going to take a long time to, to defeat. Now, I'm not probably going to. I'm probably not going to get every treasure chest this run. Since I've already done a 100% walkthrough of this game, this will be more of a, a casual challenge. I'll get as many, I'll get as much as I can, but this probably won't be 100% like I did in my walkthrough. But I think that's all I gotta say. Um, like I said, default armor, empty bottle. Let's go ahead and start the game. So we definitely want 16 by 9. Vibration off. Sound stereo. Yep, that's good. Voice and text. That's a loud vehicle outside. Battle camera, manual. Alright, so I'll not be talking during cutscenes. So whenever there's a cutscene playing, I'm going to mute my mic. And I'll be turning up the volume during cutscenes as well. So, I have the volume a little bit low right now. Because I don't want the game volume to overpower my voice volume. But during cutscenes, like I said, I'll mute my mic and I'll turn up the volume up all the way. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and press in and... You can watch this cutscene and I'll resume talking after these cutscenes are over.
Well, Mom and Dad, it's almost time. Jack's ready at last. Hey, sis, where's breakfast? Jack Russell! What? What did I do? Today's the day we've been waiting for. Don't tell me you've forgotten. I haven't forgotten. You most certainly have. Why aren't you more excited? Outside now. Aw, but I just got up. Do as you're told. Hey, Dad's sword. Yes, Jack, this is your father's legendary sword, the Arbitrator. Of course, you aren't ready to use it yet. But someday you will. Someday, Jack, you'll become a great knight like your father. You'll be a leader of men with this sword at your side. I know you will. Wow. But first, you have to pass the knight selection trials, right? Hey, no worries. Leave it to me. All I gotta do is beat everyone else, right? Listen, Jack. Not just anyone tries out for the Knights. These people really know what they're doing. Don't be too cocky or they'll make you answer for it. You can't just wave your sword around. Um, can we save the fencing lessons for later? I gotta head out or I'm gonna be late. Oh, look at the time! Jack, what are you doing? Hurry up and get going! Adele, I'll pass those night trials for sure. And before long, I'll be an even greater knight than Dad was. Ugh. He just has no idea how great his father was. No idea at all. But maybe that will be one of his strengths. Radiata Castle. I finally made it. Dad, are you watching? By Ridley Silverlake, right? Ha <laughs> ha, he's dead meat.
Proceed to the Coliseum immediately. All right, Ridley. Hope you're ready. What? No way. Ridley's a girl? Sheesh, I was looking forward to a real fight. Oh, man, I suck at holding back. Welcome to the official Royal Radiata Knight Selection Trial. I will be your referee for this contest. My name is Junzaburo. The test you are about to face is a traditional Radiata Knights elimination tournament. In other words, it is a completely unbiased assessment of your ability. You will earn points for every hit, but should a knockout occur, the winner will be declared immediately. Understood? Let's begin. Combatants, take your position. Selection Trials, Round 2. Ridley Silverleg versus Jack Russell. Begin! All right, I'm back at some cutscenes. So we get to the first battle of the game. That was a little bit weird on that opening part. I may have to fix that. Uh, I don't know what happened there. When the battle first opened up, that was kind of weird. It didn't happen like that earlier. Alright, so... We're just, gonna, we're just gonna let her defeat me, actually. I'm just gonna let her attack me. Instead of waiting on her Volti Blast. I'll just let her attack and attack me and defeat me. You can actually, you cannot actually win this battle, so don't worry about it. Just let her go ahead and defeat you, or you can attack her and her Volti Blast will go up, and she'll use her Volti Blast. But I'm gonna stop talking now because more cutscenes. I. I'm gonna beat you. Contestants, it's time to announce the results. Everyone to the Coliseum! Huh? Come and get it! Huh? They're announcing the results. You're supposed to go to the Coliseum. Results? Huh? Well, what about my fight? Miss Ridley was the victor. You mean I lost? I lost the match? Yes, Miss Ridley beat you in the first round. Uh, it seems Miss Ridley has been training to become a knight from a very young age. Even Lord Star was defeated. You should not feel too bad. I can't believe I lost. Tournament winner Ridley Silverlake has passed the selection trials. And there will be one more. Jack Russell. What? But sir, the young boy does not yet possess the skills to be a knight. Don't you recognize his name? Russell? You mean... Cairn Russell? Yes, he is the son of Sir Cairn, former captain of the Blanc Chevalier. This one may have a bright future. 
But Lord Lux, are you sure it's wise to place him under the command of Sir Gantz? I mean Sir Gantz. He is the son of Sir Gawain, as I'm sure you know. Karen, Gawain, Jack, Gantz. I believe that their entwined fates could make them a powerful combination. Junsaburo. <clears throat> Introducing Lord Larks, Prime Minister of Radiata and Commander-in-Chief of the Radiata Knights, and Captain Gantz Rothschild of the Rose Cochon Brigade. New recruits will be placed under his command. And now, for the tournament results. <laughs> Ta-da! Ridley Silverlake! <sighs> and there's one more. Uh, another one? The keen eye of Lord Lox has identified a young hopeful with a great deal of potential. <laughs> Ta-da! Jack Russell! Oh, no way! Why me? I lost the first round. Jack. As Jim Zaburo mentioned, you have been chosen not because of what you can do for us now, but what you can do in the future. Understand that you are now one of the Knights of the Kingdom. Bear yourself accordingly and serve it well. Sir! I am Gantz Rothschild, Captain of the Rose Cauchal Brigade. Master Jack, Lady Ridley, we will hold the inauguration ceremony immediately. But first, please go to your assigned rooms and change into your new knight's attire. That will be all. I will see you both at the ceremony. This will be Master Jack's room. Join the knights and I have to stay in this dump? Can I help you? Huh? See, I knew there was some kind of mistake. This is your room, right? Yep, it sure is. This gentleman is Master Leonard. He will be your room leader. Room leader? Oh, it's at that time already. Master Jack, you will find your trainee knights wear on your bunk. Once you have changed, please proceed to the third floor meeting room. You are expected at the Rose Couchon inauguration ceremony. Sir Gans is ready to begin. Do not keep him waiting. I believe that will be all. Ah, yes. I neglected to introduce myself. I am Al, the castle steward. If you need help or are confused about anything at all, please do not hesitate to come and ask me. If you would excuse me, gentlemen. Hey, wait up! You're Jack, the new guy, huh? Nice to meet you. Uh, do we both stay in here? That's your bed back there. No! When you're done with the death whales, come in and get changed. Alright, so I'm back after, after them cutscenes. Oh, it's not over yet, I guess. Jeez, do the Royal Knights really fight in this getup? <laughs> when you make captain, you can wear what you like. Until then, you stick with regulation. You know, Pops, that doesn't exactly make me feel any better. You're gonna have to learn to treat your elders with more respect. And who are you calling Pops? I'm only 21, okay? Alright, so we obtained Draney's Wear and Royal Knight Charter. And that's going to teach us about save flags. So, red flags are your home, and then like blue flags are like temporary. 
and they'll disappear after a while. So, something to keep in mind for later. If you kick things in this game, you get items. So, you get a cure drop there. Come over here and kick this. You get an analysis ball, and then back here. You get some daggles. Daggles is the currency of this game. You can also kick people in this game, but you cannot kick people that are sitting down. So. At the save flags, you can obviously save it and sleep to restore your HP. Or your HP. This particular guy, if you kick him, you get one daggle each time you kick him. It's not really important. I wouldn't worry about it. If you want to kick him a few times, get a few daggles, go right ahead. But I wouldn't waste too much time on it. Get a couple items in this room. That's all we can get in here. Keep in mind that you don't have to kick everything in the game. Not every object has an item. Uh, and a lot of the items you get by kicking aren't very good anyway. So if you don't want to kick if, if you don't feel like kicking things, just don't worry about it. It's not it's not crucial to kick everything, so But if you get free items, if you get free items, you might as well take them. So in here you can get a weapon. Now I'm obviously not going to equip it, but it's actually an upgrade of the Iron Edge that you start with. I'll be selling every weapon that I get because obviously I can't use wep other weapons. The only weapon I can use is Empty Bottle. So as soon as I get the Empty Bottle I'm going to unequip whatever I have. You don't start with the Empty Bottle so we, we just have to get it later. So we have Ridley's room. You can get Ridley's theme here. And the themes, I'm, I'm just going to sell the themes. I'm not going to bother keeping them. Hi. Here's the general store of Radiata Castle. You can buy things here. Go ahead and sell Ridley Steam and sell the Night Edge. Since I'm not allowed to use it. And let's pick up a couple herbs. Um, that should do. I believe that's all we can get here. Yeah. But yeah, if you're doing if you're not doing a challenge, you want to go ahead and instead of selling that night edge, it's better just to equip it. So I believe there's one item here we can get, yeah. Cure drop, I'll take that. Cure drops are very important later on, but don't worry about them right now. They cure poison. But they're very useful on a certain enemy. If you play the, if you played this game, you know you know what I'm talking about. Now this leads to a dead end.
So this is the meeting room. That's where we got to go. I'm going to go talk to this dude down here, though, first. And I like this game because when you kick people, everybody has says something different. So you get like double the dialogue. Not only do you get dialogue from talking to people, but you get dialogue from um, kicking them too. So it's kind of cool that way. But there's another cutscene here, so I'm gonna go ahead and. Or there's a bunch of there's a couple cutscenes or whatever. So I'll just resume talking whenever the cutscenes are over. Well, they do say clothes make the man. <laughs> you look like quite the little lord. Now, Master Jack, please take that seat right over there. What's this? Do I send some bad blood between you? That will not do. Teamwork. Teamwork is the key to the success of the Radiata Knights. She's trained to be a knight since she was a kid. It's not fair. I had no chance. Now, now, Master Jack. You'll have many opportunities to hone your skills. You bet I will. I'm going to be better than her in no time. Well, then, shall we begin the ceremony? Uh, um... On this, the most auspicious of days. We are all thrilled to be here for the inauguration of the Rose Cochon Brigade. Although I think I'm the most thrilled of all. This is without a doubt the best day of my life. If this is a dream, I hope that I never wake up. Of course it isn't a dream, but I'm so overwhelmed, I can't... This, this isn't a dream, is it? Master Jack, would you give me a little pinch right here? I'm gonna beat you so bad. Ow, 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 ow! Okay, it's not a dream. So now we can get down to business. M Master Jack, thank you, that, that's enough. Please, let go, Jack. M Master Jack, please, stop pinching me. Uh, sorry. Now, to business. I hereby announce the inauguration of the Gantz Rothschild Rose Cachon Knight Brigade! Hey, Captain, I have a question. Um, yes? What? So, what does Rose Cochon mean? What does it mean? Well, how shall I put it? It expresses the pride of the knights and our unswerving devotion to the kingdom. How exactly? Well, Rose is like pride, and, and uh, the Cachon is the loyalty to country people. Really? Uh, no. But I really, really, really like to believe that that is the case. Right. I have wonderful news. Lord Locks has given the Rose Cachon Brigade a very important mission. Which is? We must protect a dwarf. We will escort a dwarf carrying metal goods and weapons for trade. It will be our mission to see both dwarf and cargo brought safely to Radiat. It's a real honor that the brand new Rose Cachon has been given such a super important assignment. Super important. If we do well on this mission, I think we can expect to see the Rose Cachon stock rise considerably. We're on the fast track to fame. Right, we leave first thing tomorrow morning. The journey will be a long one. Please make sure that you're prepared. Uh, Master Jack. Yeah? Would you come with me after this meeting, please? Come with you? Where are you going? I think you will find it most inst- Alright, so that was the meeting, and we gotta protect dwarves and all that stuff. Uh, dwarf from the cargo. That's our first mission as part of this brigade. Uh, but anyway, this is going to teach you how to play the game if you don't already know how to play it. I'm obviously going to skip it. But if you want to know how to attack, how to defend, following commands, using items. 
or status ailment, you can go ahead and go through that if you want to. Yeah, for sure. And there'll be more cutscenes after this is over, so. Lord Jasner, you're up very early, sir. Is everything all right? Ah, here you are, finally. Uh, I mean, uh, what a fine morning, don't you think? Yes, yes it is. Lord Jasner, today is the first mission for the Rose Cochon Brigade. Well, well, you be careful out there. Sir. Master Jack, this is Jasner Colton, Lord Chamberlain of Radiata. Really? Really? Jack, your manners bow to his lordship. But what about Rinley? Jack, don't be a fool. Ridley doesn't have to bow. What's this? Playing favorites all of a sudden? Fool! Ow! Lady Ridley is his lordship's daughter. Huh? But Ridley's last name is Silver Lake, right? Lord Jasner was accepted into the noble Silver Lake family. Their family crest is the Great Eagle of the North. Only those related by blood may bear the august Silver Lake name. Oh, well, I guess we know which donkey is pulling the cart in that family. Yep, and where the donkey leads, the ass has to follow. Well said, young Jack. You have a sharp eye. You don't miss a lot, do you? Aw, oh, you're just saying that. No, no, Jack, don't be so self-effacing. A good knight must have wisdom as well as strength. Captain, cut it out. You're embarrassing me. You're more sensitive than I gave you credit for. Are you saying I'm an ass? My apologies, sir. He's completely new, sir. He hasn't learned a thing yet. Well, you'd better start teaching him, hadn't you? Yes, sir. Just leave it to me, my lord. I'll whip him into shape. And another thing, Gans. If anything happens to my Ridley... Sir? Well, never mind. She is a knight now. I, I can't protect her forever. But you watch her, Gantz. Can we go? Someone's there. Yes, that must be young Master Clive from the Olashian Order. Olashian Order? The Priest Guild. Guilds are organizations that provide a variety of services for the regular townspeople. In the town, we have four guilds. The Warrior Guild, the Priest Guild, the Mage Guild, and the Bandit Guild. Depending on the assignment, we knights sometimes ask guild members to join us on our missions. Open government and knights that work with the people. Lord Larks has some very progressive ideas. That's so. At the same time, it allows him to keep an eye on the guilds and maintain the balance of power. If one guild grew more powerful than the others, there would be all sorts of trouble. Yeah, I guess there would. Howdy, Master Clive. Clive, that's me. We are delighted to meet you. I just joined Alashian. I'm real new, you know. I can't do nothing yet. Nice to meet you. You can't do nothing? Nothing at all? Nope. Not a thing. I can eat and sleep is all. Um, yes, well, you seem to be very, uh, level-headed. Right then, everybody, let's move out! Oh, brother. What kind of messed up brigade did I join? So no matter what happens, don't let them see you. Is that clear? Yes, sir. But Lord Jasna... Hush! It's Lox.
Lord Jesney, what are you doing? Oh, nothing, nothing, just uh, silly gossip. Uh, thank you, Natalie, that will be all. Natalie, is there a problem? No, sir. We were just talking. He wasn't bothering you, was he? Huh? Oh, no, not... I see. Good. As long as it wasn't that. Now then, here are the details of our mission. All right, we finally get to do some night stuff. Don't get too excited. You're still just a rookie. Hey, we joined at the same time. I've been training as a knight for years. I wasn't let in out of pity like some of them. Say what? They're like two weasels in a whipple palm. Uh, yes. Now, about the mission. First, we must journey to the dwarf village in Earth Valley. We humans and the dwarves are trading partners. The dwarves are our allies, as it were. Their home in Earth Valley lies southwest of here. To reach the dwarf lands, we must travel south. The journey there should present no difficulties. The problem is the return journey. There may be goblins and orcs looking to steal our cargo. We might have to fight orcs? It's not out of the question. Are orcs really strong? Orcs are about the most violent critters around. Well, I can take down a Smilodon with one blow. Really? With one blow? You scared? Yeah, a little, I guess. But it sounds way cool, too. It sounds... cool? Well, come on! It'd be a drag if nothing happened at all. Captain, can't we leave him behind or something? Master Jack, please don't do anything that will invite trouble. Yeah, yeah, I know. Does he have any clue at all? Lady Natalie, what are we doing here? Secret orders from Lord Jasmine. Lady Ridley is his lordship's one and only daughter. She means everything to him. Then why'd he let her join the knights at all? What could he do? Lady Ridley is a Silver Lake. She has to uphold the honor of the family name. All right, so Gans joins the party, Ridley joins the party, and Clive joins the party. So we've got our group together. And I'll go over the friend list real quick, since we have a few party members now. So we got Jack, Gans, Ridley, and Clive. So we got Jack, a lively young man, born and raised in Sully Village, a town a little ways from Radiata. He lived a peaceful life. With his elder sister Adele until his 16th birthday. When he decided to test his mettle by trying out for the Radiata Knights like his father before him. Next up we got Gans. Only son of Gawain and Freya Rothschild. Of the Rothschild clan. A family that holds the crest of the line of the west. He was raised, he was raised well and knows little of the horrors of the real world. His speech and manners are impeccable. He became a Roddy out of night at 18 and was promoted to captain when he was 28. Next up we got Ridley. The only daughter of Sigourney Silverlake and Jasna Colton. A family whose clan holds the crest of the Great Eagle of the North. She is very composed and serious. Yet has a fragile lady-like side. Jasna has a different last name as a silver leg name. Can only be carried by those related by blood. And then finally we got Clive. A follower of the Arashian Order known as the Prodigy in his hometown. He entered the priest guild in hopes of becoming a doctor. He, is, he was stunned when he discovered people brighter and more skilled than he. 
However, he is now working hard to catch up to his rivals. He is generally very laid back and does things at his own pace. I always like Clive as a character. He's like a redneck, uh, he's like a redneck priest, I guess you could say. So every character in the game has their own attacks as well, like Clive has poison gas and recovery ray, and every character has their own equipment. You cannot change your party's equipment. Also, each character has a set a skill. So Clive's increased evasion. Really has wind defense. Gans is prevent confuse. And Jack starts with luck plus, but you can change this later on in the game. You can also make combos in this game. So I did right, left, right, left. And some characters in the game have multi blast. So Gans is Gowns Breaker and really has Wild Pitch. And I think that's everything I need to go over. You also got items, of course. Uh, pretty standard items. And then the settings are the same as it was before. Alright, so I gotta avoid the first enemy up here. Because the empty balls in the next screen over here. Alright, so we got the empty bottle. So now the challenge officially begins. So as you can tell, one strength. So Jack is going to be fairly weak in this game. Also, the got the default armor equipped as well. So yeah, empty bottle. And this is our first actual battle. So yeah, Giga Ant, level 4, easy enemy. And then we got Biddy Ant, level 1, one of the weakest enemies in the game actually. Yeah, I'm only doing 3 damage. So I'm going to need to gain some levels, obviously. But the early game should be fairly easy. Alright, so we'll fight this enemy and then I'll end the video. And I'm going to fix this whole, like, loading into battle thing in the next episode. I'm not sure why that happens. Alright, so yeah, Cloud can restore HP. Gotta get this ant off me. Certain enemies can leech onto you and you have to, like, knock them off. They will eventually fall off. Yeah, I might as well fight the sand while we're here. This will be the last enemy to fight in this episode. Alright, so yeah, the early game's still going to be a little bit easy because the enemies aren't very hard right now, but in the later episodes, having an empty bottle is just going to be, like, very bad. But we should be alright. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I want to thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. I'll try to post one of these a day. Uh, maybe two a day, I don't know. But probably one a day. 
So check out tomorrow's video. And thanks again for watching and later.